Hi guys, it has turned into a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise. Absolutely gorgeous fall day in Boulder, Colorado today and I need to get out and start raking some leaves. But before I do, I just want to get back to, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's Wednesday, October 18th, 2017. I just wrapped up my climate change meltdown around our rant. But before I dive into this big pile of dead leaves, simply want to get back to this article I was talking about uh, when my camera crapped out on me. Uh, because this is a subject I really haven't talked about much on uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe. And this is the whole story of EMP attacks, which I think is electromagnetic pulse attacks. Uh, and, you know, I. This, this is, you know, the the eco-terrorist dream. My guess is, I, I think this whole notion of these EMP attacks, which is, uh, you know, some sort of satellite that, you know, I, I'm, I'm some dumb bloodite. I'm not going to pretend for one goddamn minute I, I know what an EMP attack is. Okay, guys? But it's fairly easy. And essentially, uh, oversimplified, it, you know, it's, it's this big jolt of uh, electromagnetic pulse and the, the, the point is to knock out the grid uh, to knock out the power grid of a country or a, an entire planet and it offers the advantage number one it's not that hard to do I, I assure you that uh, there are many countries on the planet right now better believe that the U.S. and Russia be, and China, all three, have, have had this technology for years. Uh, pull your head out of your ass if you don't think this, that any one of us could send out one of these l little uh, Darth Vader uh, attacks and, and just knock the living shit out of any other country. Uh, but of course, then, you know, that country would just do the same to us. And, but of course, the, the advantage to the eco-Nazi, meaning another way of saying the advantage to every other species of earthling that humans share the planet with, is that an EMP attack, as, a, as opposed to a nuclear attack, would be an absolute godsend. Uh, because the, the grid, the, the global power grid, is, is a, one of the biggest direct threats to every other species of earthling we share this planet with on the planet. So if the grid goes through one of these EMP attacks, and a lot of people will tell you that one of the, you know, the sun could do this too. With no, with no help from humans. You've heard about those. That is an associated rant uh, about these coronal mass ejections, kind of, kind of a cousin of a man-made EMP attack. There's one species that's going to be totally fucked if the grid goes down, and that would be you-know-who. And so, uh, but the, so the EMP attack would, would essentially take out humans while every other Earthling human share the planet with, would be cheering it on. And uh, this story is from The Independent, which I think is from England, and they're particularly looking at North Korea. Uh, does North Korea right now, and my guess is they probably do, and if they don't today, they will tomorrow. Does North Korea already have the the capability of zapping the United States and bringing down the grid? 
And this is, I'm pretty much just going to read this story from uh, the Independent for anybody wanting to educate themselves uh, on EMP attacks, whether it's from North Korea or anywhere else. <clears throat> so you can just extrapolate to the, to the rest of the planet. North Korea EMP attack could, quote, shut down the U.S. power grid and kill 90% of Americans. <clears throat> experts, experts have warned Congress that it is ignoring a newly developed weapon from North Korea, which could shut down the U.S. power grid and kill the vast majority of Americans within a year. You know, understanding that the EMP attack itself would not directly kill you. It is your dependence on the grid uh, coming down in the attack that would, you know, lead to your horrible lingering death. So two members of the now disbanded, you know, Donald Trump, uh, disbanded by Donald Trump, Congressional Electromagnetic Pulse, or EMP Commission, said at a recent House Homeland Security Subcommittee hearing that uh, an EMP attack from Kim Jong-un was the, quote, biggest threat to the United States, yet it remains, quote, unacknowledged by the U.S. government. As more attention, I would say all the attention, has been focused on the little maggot in North Korea's uh, continued testing of intercontinental ballistic missiles this year. But the dictatorship also recently claimed to have tested a hydrogen bomb, blah, blah, blah. And now the little maggot's regime said in a public statement that such a bomb could be detonated at high altitudes for, quote, super powerful EMP attack according to strategic goals. So this is William Graham, chairman of the former EMP commission and its former chief of staff, Peter Vincent Pry, warned the hearing that such an attack by the little maggot could, quote, shut down the U.S. electric power grid for an indefinite period leading to the death within one year of up to 90% of all Americans, close quote. There you go. Uh, and they pointed out uh, that the U.S.'s missile defense system, which is our big hope of this not happening, uh, are designed to intercept missiles from North Korea that approach the U.S. over the North Polar region, but not over the South Polar region. There you go. Uh, okay. This is former Republican Representative Kurt Weldon, one of the founders of the now former commission, wrote in The Hill last month, quote, A nuclear EMP attack would destroy electronics everywhere, cause planes to crash, stop cars and rail traffic, black out electric grids, and other critical infrastructures that make modern civilization and life itself possible. Eventually, millions would die 
from starvation, disease, and societal collapse. The two former commission members added that North Korea is thought to have 60 nuclear weapons at this time and its intercontinental ballistic missiles can now reach Denver, 25 miles from me, and Chicago, and perhaps the entire U.S. There you go. Uh, experts such as former NASA rocket scientist James Oberg have also warned that the regime could just simply use a satellite to carry a small nuclear warhead and detonate it over the U.S. They don't even need a missile. They can just attach a one of these things to a satellite and hit the detonate button when it's right over Denver and voila, uh, the end of civilization as we knew it. Mr. Graham and Mr. Pry condemned the one-upmanship between the big maggot, Donald Trump, and the little maggot, Kim Jong-un, who have called each other rocket man and mentally deranged, which has worsened tensions between the two countries our, the EMP commission was defunded, defunded under the new administration. So there you go, guys, and I am going to make a doomsday prediction right here. Uh, it, it, it's one that I've that I've thought about. I don't know if I've ever made this one publicly. I hereby predict that uh, we will somewhere on this planet experience an EMP attack in the very near future, and that we will in fact. Uh, see these things blowing off before we will see actual nuclear bombs. It, it is the uh, threat to this civilization and the threat to humanity and the gift to every other single species of earthling humans share this planet with that nobody is talking about. And I'm glad to see it here in the mainstream media. Smoke them if you got them, guys. We are so fucked. With that, I'm going to uh, wrap up this EMP rant and do a little uh, EMPing on all of these dead leaves laying all over the ground. Bye, guys.